Anyone that tells you that you have a free will, they are your enemy. Run, don't walk away from them. You do not have a free will. And you can find out for yourself if you doubt me. And you should. Don't just believe me because I said that you need to see it for yourself. No free will. And you can test it if you have a free will. Will yourself to never get angry again. Will yourself to have perfect peace. Will yourself not to ever get lonely again. Will yourself not to try to get revenge. Re- will yourself not to have fear. Not to worry. Take your little free will and see what happens. What the? I have more proof that there's no free will. This is from MSN. It's so crazy. To, well, I understand how the thoughts work. To believe that you have a free will and yet you can't will yourself free. Why don't you question that? MSN is reporting, after more than 40 years studying humans, Stanford University neurobiologist, neurobiologist Robert Sapolsky has reached the conclusion that human behavior is beyond our control. Human Behavior is beyond our control. Listen to this. This is so deep. A man who shot into a crowd has no more control over his fate than the victim who happened to be shot in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's deep. Watch this for me. Hold on. Human been lab clip. Watch this. I don't think we have a shred of free will. 95% of philosophers, and I think probably the majority of neuroscientists, saying that we have free will in at least some circumstances, I don't think there's any at all. You do something, you behave, you make a choice, whatever, to understand why you did that, where did that intention come from, um, Part of it was due to the sensory environment you were in in the previous minute. Some of it is from whether you had a wonderful or stressful last three months and what sort of neuroplasticity happened. Part of it is what hormone levels you were exposed to as a fetus. Part of it is what culture your ancestors came up with and thus how you were parented when you were a kid. There's no space in there to fit in a free will concept that winds up being, you know, in your brain, but not of your brain. Where people go off the rails is translating that into, we can change ourselves. We can't, because there's no free will. That's deep. Now, all of it, except, you know, all the little things he named, the real deal is come from hating, being angry. And another spirit, which is evil, take over and recreate your nature from innocent to evil, from good to evil. And 99.9%, no, 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 but 99.99999% of the time, it comes from mama. The moment, and I don't care what color you are, where you are, The moment you become angry at mama when you're a little kid, your nature starts to change from from good to evil. Good is of God. Evil is of the devil. And that's what controls you. You become like what you hate. In your imagination and emotion. You become just like your mama. It's not your mama, but it's the spirit that's in her. You do not, and that's what influences you. If you really, really think about some of the things you do and some of the things you think and some of the ways you feel, you'll start to see, this ain't me. What the? I would never make myself do this. I would never make myself feel this way. 
I would never do this. I would never feel, even though, feel this way, even though the women be trying to promote emotions as good, and everybody should be emotional. They're working for evil, by the way, because Satan is a woman's God, right? Everybody should be emotional. They are in misery by being emotions, and they want you in there with them because all people of hell want to drag you down to hell with them. But you become like what you hate, and that's what controls you. That's why you have to overcome thoughts about dying from them. Let them die from your body and mind. You are not your thoughts. And the sooner you stop trusting them, the quicker you'll be free. And I know that when you're dying from trust, from believing in thoughts, you're going to feel afraid. Like, who, who am I then? What will I be? You are afraid to not trust thoughts. Isn't that amazing? And it's not you, it's the thoughts that trembling about leaving you because evil lives in human beings. Even Batman. Remember Batman? Batman. 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 Even Batman hates it. That's the wrong melody. I got a song, I ain't got no melody. Let the bad guy win every once in a while. <laughs> I got a step, I ain't got no dance. Will it go round in circles? Even Batman doesn't have a free will. Now, if Batman ain't got no free will, you know we ain't got no free will. YouTube and fandom, fandom. <laughs> YouTube and fandom. This is from YouTube and fandom. Speaking of Batman not having a free will, Batman is a 1960s television series. Adam West portray, portrayal of Batman is famous for being comedic and insincere compared to previous versions. And uh, some of you older folks may remember Batman, may recognize this. Watch this photo. See, Batman. Batman. That's not the right melody for it. It sounds good to me. Uh, it's all right to me, too. <laughs> I see his bat wings as I sing it. What was the melody, hey? He didn't know. What was the melody for Batman? <laughs> now you threw me off. No, 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 Batman. 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 No, 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 That's what you did. Oh, no, that's exactly what I did. You're lying. You didn't. Well, you're saying off key. Batman. That's completely different. Different than what? I mean, it's close enough. People know it. No, 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 <laughs> and then <laughs> Nick said that yours was kind of like the transition. Batman! <laughs> Do it again? Batman! No, it's, you don't, you're not using enough syllables. Let me hear yours. No, 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 Batman! Whatever, hate. Whatever! I gotta go. Thank you. So even Batman didn't have a free will. Watch this about the life of Adam West and see that. So Sean said that it's na 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 not na 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 na. What? Are you still spelling it the same way? What the? Oh, a uh, joke. Um. I want you to hear the story about Batman and see how and if does it applies to your life. Are you going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing or similar? 
And do you still think you have a free will? Here's the life of Adam West, the Batman guy. From Wikipedia, Adam West was born on September 19, 1928. Wow, I didn't know he was that old. What the? In, in Walla Walla, that Batman town. Does it sound like Batman? Walla Walla, Washington. Watch this from Cool Classics. Adam West, you probably know him from playing Batman on the Batman 66 TV series. He was born September 19th. 1928 in Seattle Swedish Hospital. His father Otto West Anderson was 25 at the time and the son of Swedish immigrants. His mother Audrey Spear was 22 at the time of his birth and she was a very flamboyant beauty queen. As a young woman Audrey had been studying to be a concert pianist but she won a scholarship to study opera in Los Angeles so her and Otto moved to Hollywood Hills. And that's where she pursued a career in Hollywood. After chasing her Hollywood dreams for three years with little success, that's when she had Billy and ended up just moving back to Washington. Now Adam says in his autobiography that his mother became very bitter. She was upset that stardom had eluded her. She started to say things to Adam such as, If I never would have had you, I could have stayed in Hollywood until I got my big break. He said, even as a young kid, I understood and felt the power in those words. This was a very heavy burden for me to carry. Amazing, huh? My mama don't lie to you. She lies to everyone. Amazing. And Wikipedia is also reporting more on Adam West. See if this applies to you in any form or fashion at all. And be honest with yourself. You don't have to say it out loud, but at least don't lie to yourself about this evil stuff, right? In order to overcome it, you must be born again. So according to Wikipedia, he, he moved to Seattle with his mother when he was 15, following his parents' divorce. Watch this from Cool Classic. Adam says that by the time he was 10 years old, his mother was out of control. He came home from school early one day, and he found his mother having sex with the priest from the church. And then my mother tells me that I better not say anything. He said, I was so confused. I knew this was wrong, but I wasn't supposed to say. And I felt sorry for my father. He was a kind and decent man. Now, when he was 14 years old, things changed drastically overnight. His mother had been secretly having an affair with the neurosurgeon, Paul Flathow. One day, she took the boys, left, filed for divorce, and then eventually married this man. He said all of a sudden, him and his brother John are living in a strange house with a strange man, and his father isn't anywhere around. And this house wasn't normal. He said it was huge. The whole town called it the Stone Mansion. He said, well, my mother got as close as she could to fame. Now she had status. She could start entertaining famous people again. Wow. See how the ego worked? Anything for the ego. You can't get the fame, you get the status, you get something. And you have nothing. Poor boy, huh? Wikipedia, Wes was married three times. So you see the trauma he went through that came through his mother. I've told you once, I've told you twice, I've told you a thousand times, and I will continue to tell you the hell come through the woman. Because Satan is a woman's God until she's born again of the Father, the true God from above and not from below. The hell come through the woman. And it doesn't matter if she had, she had the man's children. She just, that hell in her will destroy those children to get what she wants. Because in hell there is no love. Anyone that tried to hurt you have no love. Zero. They ain't trying to help you. You see the hell that Adam went through? Every woman he got involved with was his mama. So he was still living in hell, not only within himself, but every woman he got involved with, I'm telling you, it was the same spirit of the mama.
Wikipedia. West was married three times. His first marriage was to his college girlfriend. The couple divorced six years later. Cool classic. Watch this. There was a young man living in a beach paradise with beautiful women all around. Then one night I seen this woman dancing. Her name was Na and I fell in love. Well, before long, the two of them ended up getting married, and within two years, they had a son named Hunter and a daughter named Janelle. He was on TV over 25 times per year, which meant he didn't have a lot of time at home. And in his absence, his wife tells him that she fell in love with another man, and she Mama. wanted a divorce. Well, this devastated him. He said this was the first time that he turned to alcohol, not for fun or to party, but to drown his sorrows. But instead, it made him even more depressed and angry. Amazing. Does this sound like your life? Now we let anger go? Anger is a trauma. You're not stuck in it if you don't want to be. You're not stuck there if you don't want to be, but if you want to be, stay there. Adam repeated exactly what his father did. He got married to a woman that cheated on His father, wife did the same thing, his mother. And because he hated it, he became like what he hated. And he ended up repeating the same like generation after generation. Generation after generation. This is from history dot, historylink.org. Adam West always suspected that his mother resented his success and that his mother's ambitions had somehow transferred to him. West describes her as headstrong, alcoholic, and manic depressive. Watch this from Cool Classic. All the children were watching the show. The teens and 20-somethings, well, they were tuning in because of all the pop culture references of the time. And the adults, well, they were picking up on all the sexual innuendos. So with everybody watching the show, Adam West became a star and a sex symbol. His father loved it and was congratulating him. They were all excited. They threw a big party. When he visited his mother, it was the opposite. He said that she was so jealous that she wouldn't even congratulate him or acknowledge any of his success at all. He says in life, when you care for someone, you're rooting for them. You cheer their successes. And when you have them and they don't cheer back for you, well, you know who your true friends and family are. And sometimes it hurts really bad when you find out the truth. Amazing. I rest my case. No free will, folks. And if you notice, Adam West's mother went from beauty to beast. Beauty to beast. You look like an old hat there in the end. That's what anger would do to you. And he repeated his mother's life. If you never get angry, you would never have to live a life like that. Period. You will always live a free life. And Adam West could not help himself. The evil spirit was passed on to him by becoming angry from his mother. And Adam West couldn't help himself. Facts verse, verses reported that Adam West lived a secret life filled with women and booze. Thinking that that was the answer. And it's not. When will you stop loving your misery? 
Oh, I know. Most people are not going to stop loving it. When will you stop trying to inflict your misery upon other human beings? Oh, I know you're not because you call that life. You get energy from it. You get a thrill. You get a thrill from feeling good, and you get a thrill from feeling bad, feeling anger, feeling bad. They're both evil. They're imposters. In perfect love, there are no thrills. It's just perfect peace. All without the thrill of it. Amazing life, huh? If you don't learn from that, that you don't have a free will, then may God have mercy on your soul. If ever you needed the Lord, you need him now. It's amazing you could be free, but you're in hell in your own world and you think it's somebody else. And because you think it, it is deceiving you. All thoughts are all lies all the time. <laughs> 